Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Now, this one person, he really was a motivator, uh, ins inspirational type person, and he loved everybody, okay? He was the epitome of smell the roses, but in my video, we're going to be smelling up tul uh, tulips, okay? He really was a motivator. Now, I don't know if he got fat like that, or that's just something he's um, portraying. It seems like he was in a parade or something. But Richard Simmons, honey, baby, he got everybody into exercising. Especially the oldies but goodies people. All right, my auntie used to love him a lot. We got her videotape. And she got to exercising to his music, to his groove. And he always used to have those great uh, 50 and 60, 70 songs uh, that he would exercise to. But yeah, if anybody... Uh, was the king or queen of aerobics and living healthy, eating healthy, and just the poster child of being healthy. It was Richard Simmons, baby. It was Richard Simmons. Now, we know he kind of left the spotlight. Uh, and I'm thinking after reading some articles on him that he was having health problems like uh, knee problems. Uh, you know how you get arthritis in your knees in your legs or whatever and he was having a bout with that and that was the thing that put him out of commission because you know when you got real bad knees and you got real bad ankles child you can't be doing no uh high impact well he usually do high impact and low impact but uh i guess he just wanted to go out on a big bang but you know most people were speculating he should have just you know said he wanted to retire and, you know, after you get to a certain age, after your arthritis and them bones start acting up, shit, you better sit yourself down somewhere and exercise, like, in the chair, you know. Because they have chair uh, exercises that you can partake in. I just found the slew of them, so I'm going to be doing that until I can work my way up to actually feeling good in my back and my legs to do what I need to do, okay? It's like gradually introducing exercising back to my body. All right, but we have a story by the New York Post that put out on Mr. Richard Simmons and his comings and goings and where the hell he had been, you know, because they were doing a docu docu-series or a documentary on him, and uh, maybe that's why he took the hiatus, but I don't know. But this uh, post from the New York Post and Andrew Court should give us some insight on just where the hell he been, okay? But he titles it, Andrew Court, he wrote up the piece for the New York Post. He says, Richard Simmons breaks silence, tell the Post he's living the life he has chosen. And Lord knows, when you have had uh, items named after you, you have had your great success in whatever was your entrepreneurship in, it, it, he, he needs to sit down and smell the roses and live his best life. So see, I think he's in his 70s, maybe close to his 80s. I'm not really sure. But um, it says Richard Simmons has broken his six-year silence with his spokesperson telling the Post that the beloved fitness icon is living the life he has chosen. Simmons rep, Tom Esty, spoke Friday following the release of a new documentary about the uh, workout King's sudden disappearance from the spotlight. Richard is internally grateful for the continuous outpouring of love and gratitude he has received from across the globe. Esty told the Post he is happy, healthy, and living the life he has chosen to live. On Wednesday, Simmons, 74, so I thought, I thought he was in his 70s, had published this on, well, has published his on, 
on short uh, note to first but i'm getting tongue twisted on wednesday simmons 74 published his own short note to facebook simply saying thank you everyone for your kindness and love love richard sd confirmed the message was personally composed by simmons and was his first public correspondence with fans in six years now you know a lot of people speculated that he's being held hostage uh, with his, uh, what do you call it, housekeeper or something to that degree. Some people have felt he got into drugs and things of that nature. And, you know, I just thought, hell, he tied. He's 74 years old when we were looking for him about six years ago about whatever happened to him. Hell, he was still in his, um, what do you call it, late 60s. Hell, you could at least retire in 62 to 65 and try to live the life you have always wanted to live in seclusion and peaceful realms, okay? Not in the hustle and bustle. I got to get this. I got to get that. I got to make my million. You know how we come and go. I hell, I ain't like that no more. <laughs> Child, I stop being like that in that hustle and bustle. When I hit my 40s, I said, like, fuck it. If I ain't got it, I ain't going to get it. And I was just like, got it, get it good. I'm going to be, what, whatever I leave off when I'm uh, 62. Let me see, is it 62? 62 or 65. I, I'm, I'm going with 62. I was going to try to make it to 65. But I have a good I have a good job, you know, that I can make it to 65 if I had to. But I'm, I'm priming for 62 because I want to go back to my childhood days. I want to go where I can live life carefree. I don't have to worry about getting up, going anywhere, being at a certain time somewhere. You know, unless you're just talking about doctor's visits. Because when you get old and, and tired and thrown out and you retire, that's the things you have to look forward to. It's <laughs> going to the doctor, uh, going and get diagnostic tests done, whether it's labs or x-rays. And sitting up here a doctor telling you, well, you need to do a little bit more exercise. No, dog, you need to mind your damn business, okay? And keep pushing them drugs to me, like my uh, high blood pressure medicine, my cholesterol, because I'm going to live this life. I had to do what I had to do when I was young, dumb, and having fun, learning excuses. About, well, making it, well, well, wait a minute. I was making issues or uh, uh, negative things happen to me. You know, I was getting involved with some uh, negative things and it caused chaos and then I had to cut it short. Okay? Uh, we all been young, dumb, and still thought we were having fun, you know? Those are the growing pains. Those are the teaching lessons that one must go through through unless they had somebody they just always admired and they followed their their footsteps and you know did what they had to do but hell like i said you ain't got it when you 60 you ain't gonna get it sit your ass down and just enjoy whatever little life you can enjoy on a lower scale or a high price scale you know what i'm saying take trips uh not around the world you probably have to take trips to each different state that you probably wanted to visit and couldn't Woo! But that's all. That's my, my little pun intended. I'll make it from time to time. When I hear a story, and I got to give y'all an example. Okay, but going back to the article, it said um, he was uh, 74 this year. Uh, Estee confirmed the message was personally written by um, Richard. It wasn't a coerced uh, note written and seeming like, you know, uh, it was falsified and we need to go find Richard because he's in trouble. No, it may not be that type of situation. It might be like, hey, I can't do what I used to do. And that was really what made people come uh, to see me, is to see me work out. And he may have a little thing he's fighting about with that. But hell, I'm like, Richard, you set the platform, you set the bar at an exceptional rate, high rate, to where other uh, athletes or aerobic instructors have to take from you and make their, uh, what do you call it, their show a little bit more viable to people. You know, not just to the uh, young people, but to the old seasoned people. You know what I'm saying? Well, we can't be sitting up here and jumping up in the air and doing all these repetitious uh, exercises when it comes to lifting up your legs and throwing your you know throwing yourself in the air and all that kind of stuff now nah, we can't do that that's why we on the chair exercise where we pick one leg up at a time <laughs> or we have to go do water aerobics so, so you know so he had all of that he was the king i'm telling you the king slash queen of the aerobic sector okay but going back to the article it said um Interest in the effervescent exercise guru has been reunited this week following the release of a new doc, TMZ Investigates. What really happened to Richard Simmons? The special 
will be streaming on Fox and Hulu, claims that problems with the star's knees were behind his sudden shining of the spotlight. So I know it had to be a song because you ain't going to get past life. Uh-uh. Your body's going to start talking to you versus you talking to your body. And it's going to come at some surprising times. You know, like I was just, you know, I didn't really believe when old people or seasoned people would say, Ooh, it's going to rain. And they were like, what the hell is sunny out there? Or oh, it's snowing out right there. What the hell are you talking about? It's going to be raining. And they were making a, a fair assessment. When they bones start acting up, it's telling them weather. <laughs> it, it's going to be uh, before us uh, sooner rather than later. Because I'm telling them, when it gets too cold out there, your, your arthritis, you know, I got arthritis. I got copper tunnel syndrome because I typed a lot throughout my work career. And everybody can understand about the typing. Or if you had like a job where you were running a cash register. Just something repetitious done all the time. It wears and tears out your limbs. So yes, uh, arthritis do settle in in your fingers and your joints. And it definitely show move down to, down to them knees. Okay, you, you should be popping. You be like, what, what's going on? Be popping when you get up or you sit down. And other people be hearing it like, damn, your bones that bad? Yes, baby, they just that bad, okay? I have a DEXI scan uh routinely every year okay I'm, i can't go like every three or five years no because my bones are fragile i may look big and buff and fluffy but my bones are aching okay they're aching and they're telling the story every time i get up and i sit my ass down but going back to the article it says simmons hasn't been seen in public since 2014 yeah said it ain't so but i guess it was they wouldn't have printed it all right uh, but he did phone the Today Show back in 2016 to refute wild rumors that he was being held hostage by his housekeeper. I know I heard, I heard that somewhere. He confirmed it. Um, fans were thrilled to hear that Simmons was in good health and high spirits with thousands responding to his Facebook message. I knew it was you, Richard. One of my swoon. You are very much so loved. Please never doubt that. You have done so, I mean, you have done so much. Um, hey man, you have done so much good in so many people's lives. Thank you for all that you have done and are still doing. None of us will ever forget you. Uh, another time then, we miss you, Richard, but hope you are doing what is right for you. You have given me so much joy for years. It is your time now. You deserve peace and happiness. Thank you for saving my life over and over again. I am forever grateful for you. Simmons became a beloved figure after he exploded into the scene in the 1980s. And they did have the discos back there. 70s, 80s. It was the disco era. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, with workout videos that were accessible to people of all shapes and all sizes. And he, they shared, they should have said all ages as well. Okay. Um, clad in hot pants and bedazzled tank tops, the superstar's lighthearted approach helped make fitness feel fun and accessible to overweight americans who have long been intimidated by sculpt sculpted and self-serious trainers his 1988 vhs sweating to the oldies became the biggest selling home fitness video of all time grossing more than 200 million he continued to be a ubiquitous public figure figure in the 1990s and 2000s publishing best-selling cookbooks fronting infomercials and appearing on late night talk shows however in 2014 simmons stopped performing in public citing problems with his knees according to the new tv documentary uh he underwent a right knee replacement that left him in a considerable amount of pain doctors subsequently told him that he also needed a left knee replacement but he alleged refused to do so after being too traumatized by the first operation i know that right richard sometimes you just gotta let some go and let god okay because people like to operate on you too fast too fast quick in a hurry to get that check but then they don't know what your bones and how you're gonna mend especially when you get older you mend slower uh slowly more so when you were younger you could heal a little faster okay the the, the stuff don't regenerate as it should when you are uh, seasoned when season time has come upon you okay but uh, going back to the article it says the documentary alleges that simmons knee problems stem from a birth defect 
whereby he was born without a full set of bones in his foot. The condition purportedly caused physical and emotional problems. Despite the reported health struggles, Simmons, who has always been an introvert, and that's fooled me. I would, you know, from looking at him, it's like, well, I guess you can be uh, both of them at the same time. You could be a person that shies away from certain things and don't get involved with, like, a mass media of people surrounded when he's not performing. Uh, they kind of taken to the introvert side but with him being out exercising exposing himself talking with people here there and everywhere i would have really believe he was an extrovert but like i said because i could be an introvert too sometimes believe it or not i don't like to talk i like to observe and i like to uh watch other people in action you know especially if I, they kept what do you call it uh they caught my attention and I, I i was just leaning on every word they were saying you know somebody that can do that then I like to um, listen. But I only talk when I have to talk. And truly, but uh, surely, but sh surely, I, if I had to do this, I'm getting paid. I ain't going to sit and waste my time <laughs> and not get paid, okay? So that's just me. And, and I just had to throw my little two cents in there. Ain't worth a shit, I know. But I, I thought I would give it to y'all. <laughs> but going back to the error, uh, article, it says, despite the report, uh, reported health struggle. Simmons, who has always been an introvert, is now seeming to relinquish, relinquish his retirement, enjoying a quiet life away from the cameras at his home in Hollywood Hills. Now, you know, brother got to be doing real well to have uh, been staying in Hollywood Hills, okay? He's still out there with everybody and anybody that's known in the um, entertainment field. But he's taking a um, he's taking a quiet approach to going and being around people that really love him genuinely, and he really loves them genuinely. So I, I get it. I got him. It's good, honey. Sometimes you can't be having your entourage and all these other people that just want to be around you because who you are and what you can do for them and what places they can go by being with you. Yes, when those set of people have had their time, you relinquish them, okay? And you just go and be secluded and try to live a life like, you know, Every day is a perfect day to be here. And that's what I want to do, honey. I don't want to do nothing. I already told my daughter, 62, 62, 62. If you ain't got what you needed to get by 62, Ma can't help you. Come on, I'm going to be living on a fixed income. And I don't want to work the rest of my life. I've worked ever since I was 15 years old. Okay, turning 16. I think it was four months or five months before I was going to turn 16. And I haven't stopped. You hear me? Either I had worked for someone or I was doing my own thing, being my own entrepreneur in different facets of uh, the payroll world, I should say. But, uh, yeah, I no, I'm waiting for 62 and then I'll be doing YouTube full time. And then I would be asking y'all to support my channel with all these uh, super chats and all those things. Because mama, grandmama, auntie, niece. However y'all look at me, cousin, I'm going to need y'all help to support the channel. Okay, when I get on here, I need to get paid, okay? I don't care if it's a dollar. I don't care if it's 50 cents. Supply me, please, okay? But, um, yeah, that's all we had for this particular video. Sometimes we can't do everything that we used to do when we were younger. And we had a lot more energy. And we have a lot more tenacity. And we were just out there trying to grind. Hell, when you get in your 60s. You'll be like, fuck all that. I ain't finna do none of that, okay? I'm finna go sit my ass down and I'm gonna be a watcher, observer. Because I always wanted to basically go to the court system and watch people uh, get divorced or try to save their marriage in the court of law or go sit on cases. You know what I'm saying? Not the one they try to get you to come to that they summons you for or that you have to quit your day job for a minute and hang out with them for a couple of days or how long the trial gonna be for some silver case nah not that kind uh -uh, i don't want to be on nobody's program okay i want to just be able to go down there to the courthouse and just walk around and then see you know peep through the doors and see if it's something i want to listen to and then when i get tired i'm gone you know i always want to do that i plan on doing that ain't going to see my cousins them you know they're in there some of them are in their 60s so, I guess they'll be in their 70s by the time I come around. They're talking about, uh, let's go ride to Tennessee. Let's go see the aquarium. Or, or let, let's go ride to Colorado and, 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 and smoke some ooh wee, you know. <laughs> that's what I plan on doing. I ain't trying to do nothing that requires me to be on time 
uh, on somebody else's job. No, 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 no. Okay. But that's all I got for this video, guys. It was a real good feel, feel good type of video to seeing somebody we once love and still do love, but we ain't gonna be seeing him doing no exercising and stuff. I think that, that probably had a lot to do with his, um, what self esteem when he couldn't do what he enjoyed doing for so long and he's you know i ain't gonna say brother in a wheelchair or a scooter but a scooter look cool you could dress up them scooters boy and drive them everywhere but you know this is me again i'm right I'm, I'm i'm ranting i'm going off uh, subject topic but um yeah it's time for you to work and it's time for you to sit your ass down enjoy your family your friends if you had genuine friends uh and do some things that you always wanted to do, but you couldn't do it because you were busy working. You see what I'm saying? But that's all I got, uh, guys. And don't forget to definitely do two things for me if you can't do anything else. Subscribe to the channel. Get other people to subscribe. And like my videos. Okay? Even if you damn didn't like it, you were still here and you waited for a few minutes to do a little something, something to determine you to stay or go. Hit that damn like button. Okay? That's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see you next video. Bye.